In this video, how to enable Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 for League of Legends and other Riot games. For example, when you try to launch the game on Windows 11, you might see this error message. This happens because the game requires TPM 2.0 to be enabled in the BIOS. Additionally, if you are playing Valorant on Windows 11, Secure Boot is also required. Without Secure Boot enabled, you will get error messages like this when starting the game. First, type tpm.msc in Windows Search to open the Trusted Platform Module Management Console. As you can see, no compatible TPM can be found. This doesn't mean your computer doesn't have a TPM chip. It may be turned off in the BIOS, so let's try to enable it in the BIOS setup. Alternatively, you can use the Get TPM Complete in PowerShell to get more details about your TPM. As you can see, there is no TPM present. Now, let's restart the computer. Press the delete key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup. For example, this is a gigabyte motherboard. If you see a simplified interface, you can press the desired key or select advanced mode to show all menus. In advanced mode, use the arrow keys to go to the settings menu. Select the miscellaneous option. Make sure AMD CPU FTPM is enabled. Now, select Trusted Computing. Enable the Security Device Support option. Depending on your CPU and motherboard, the setting may appear with different names. For Intel systems, you can look for these options. For AMD systems, you can look for any of the following settings. Additionally, depending on your motherboard model, the TPM settings may be found under a tab labeled Advanced, Security, or Trusted Computing. You can now press F10 to save the changes and restart your computer. As you can see, once the computer restarts, TPM is now ready to use. From now, you can play League of Legends without any issues. In this part of the video, I will show you the steps to enable TPM on other common motherboards. Enabling TPM on a MSI motherboard. Enabling TPM on an ASUS motherboard. Enabling TPM on an Oshrock motherboard. Additionally, you can try to enable the secure boot for Valorant. First, type msinfo32 in Windows Search to open the System Information app. As you can see, the Secure Boot state is currently disabled. Before enabling Secure Boot, you need to check the BIOS boot mode. If your BIOS mode is UEFI, you can continue with the next steps. If your mode is Legacy, I'll show you how to fix that later in this video. Now, if your boot mode is UEFI, let's restart the computer.
Press the delete key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup. For example, this is a gigabyte motherboard. Press F2 to switch to advanced mode. In advanced mode, use the arrow keys to go to the boot menu. Make sure that CSM support is disabled. If it's enabled, your computer is using legacy mode and you'll need to follow the steps later in this video. Now, go to the secure boot option. Press enter to enable it. If you see a message saying secure boot is in setup mode and no keys are installed, you can select OK to continue. You will see that secure boot is enabled but not active yet. To activate it, move to the secure boot mode option. Change it from standard to custom. Then change it back from custom to standard. A new pop-up will appear asking to install the default secure boot keys. Select yes to install them. In this step, you need to select no instead of yes. If you select yes, the computer will restart without saving any changes, so please be careful here. As you can see, Secure Boot is now enabled and active. You can now press F10 to save the changes and restart your computer. Once the computer restarts, Open the System Information app again to verify it's working. Now, Secure Boot is enabled. In some cases, you might see that the BIOS mode is legacy. This means your computer was installed using an MBR partition style. Before enabling Secure Boot, you need to convert Windows from legacy to UEFI. Right click on the start icon and open PowerShell as administrator. Run the command get disk to see all disks connected to the computer. You'll see that your system disk uses MBR. Alternatively, you can check the disk style and disk management. We need to convert the system disk from MBR to GPT to support UEFI mode. Windows has a built-in tool that lets you do this safely without losing any data. First, run the command to check if your system can be converted from MBR to GPT. If there are no errors, you can continue to the next step. Change the validate switch to convert switch to do conversation. It might take a while, please be patient. Once it's finished, Windows has been converted successfully and the system disk is now GPT. Now, you need to restart the computer and change the boot mode before enabling Secure Boot. As you can see, CSM support is enabled and Secure Boot is not available. So you need to disable CSM support first. Once CSM support is disabled, you'll see that the Secure Boot option becomes available. On some laptops, you can disable CSM support by changing the boot mode from legacy support to UEFI. Additionally, you can disable legacy support instead of CSM to get the same result. After disabling CSM or legacy support, press F10 to save the changes and restart the computer. Let's press the delete key again to enter the BIOS setup. Now you can enable and activate Secure Boot just like in the first method.
As you can see, Secure Boot has been enabled successfully. And the BIOS boot mode has changed from Legacy to UEFI. Steps to enable Secure Boot on a MSI motherboard. and steps to enable secure boot on an ASUS motherboard. Steps to enable secure boot on a Oshrock motherboard. And finally, steps to enable secure boot on a Biostar motherboard. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.